Coverage you can count on continues with Storm Team 10 Chief Meteorologist Kevin Orpert. Awarded the AMS Seal of Approval by the American Meteorological Society. On this wintry Thursday night, here's what I'm tracking for you. Snow and sleet and freezing rain. Of course, that all leads to slick roads. And because of that, we have a winter weather advisory in effect for most of the News 10 viewing area, with the exception of Knox and Davies, Martin, Green and Monroe counties. Though, if you live in these counties, please just consider yourself under this winter weather advisory as well, because it could very well get slick with some sleet down in your, through your region as well. So here is a look at the Storm Team 10 Storm Tracker. All these various colors indicate different forms of precipitation and sometimes it's very very light and hardly being picked up on the storm team 10 storm tracker but that doesn't mean it's not precipitating in some form or another so we have just some very light precipitation here a little bit heavier and then farther to the south you have a mix of rain a little bit of sleet and then into a snow and ice situation and then farther to the south we have some rain well all of this is happening because of different uh, temperatures in layers of the atmosphere. Sometimes you have warmer air at the surface and that just means rain, but then you have warmer air and then cold air and that's when you get freezing rain. And then you have cold air, then warmer air, then cold air, and that's when you have sleet. And then when you have cold air all the way down, that's snow. And I think it's very possible that all of us could experience at least one form of this precipitation and maybe several different varieties of precipitation because of certain areas of the atmosphere getting some warmer air injected into it. So my biggest concerns for you tonight are these uh, sleet and freezing rain. Temperatures are just right for slick road surfaces. You've already seen the little icicles form that Everett was showing you and we'll go back to him in a little bit and see how that's shaping up. Rain, if it's raining there, especially as the night goes on, if you have rain, even slick conditions could develop because after the sun sets, the temps will drop below freezing. And not only that, when uh, Tucker was out there with the police officer, I noticed that the visibility was low. So I want to show you that. See, look at this. Visibility is down to two miles, three miles, two miles around Robinson and so on. And as we get into the nighttime hours tonight, that's really going to be complicated because of the possibility of slick conditions right along I-70 and a little bit farther to the north. So here's 6 o'clock tomorrow night. Here's 8 o'clock. See how we still have this frozen precipitation possible and then some snow farther to the north. But by 3 o'clock in the morning and by early Friday morning, I think most of this will be out of here. So through the nighttime tonight into the very earliest part of the day tomorrow, we have the chance of precipitation. But then after that, I think things are going to lighten up a little bit. In fact, by late tomorrow night, the possibility of a little bit of clearing, and that means we'll have some sunshine once we get to Saturday, and that will be nice for the weekend because it's finally going to warm up a little bit. So if we get through tonight, and early tomorrow morning, I think we'll be okay. But it could be a little touch and go tonight. Rain, freezing rain, sleet and snow, about 25 for the overnight low and kind of breezy too. Same thing for tomorrow, cold northwest breeze, but probably no more rain or sleet or snow. 33 for the high tomorrow. And then tomorrow night, some late clearing is possible with an overnight low tomorrow night down to about 19. And then on Saturday, sunshine 36, that's still below average, but by Sunday we get to 44, and that's where we ought to be this time of year. Monday 48, Tuesday 41, or Tuesday 51, and then Wednesday 47 and Thursday 46. So we're going to be okay as we get into next week, which, by the way, is March. Once we get to Tuesday, it's March.